new phone wallpaper just made it a couple days ago. It's most people sacrifice what they want, most of what they want now. And I put a Jesco on the bottom right there, just as a reminder. What's up, BT? Welcome to the Hype House. I'm Thomas. Let's get a tour. Dude, this is actually crazy because I think like all these people hate each other now. Like, man, you don't need much talent to do this, huh? All you got to do is just fall in line with the PSYOP, really. That's all you got to do. It's like there's record labels that, that brainwash females into going like, ah, this look is attractive. The, the hair like this and like the K-pop look or whatever, the malnourished, pale, skinny, whatever. And then you just fall in line with whatever the like big companies are brainwashing people into thinking. And you got it. You got it on lock. You just got to sell your soul. You got to sacrifice your dignity. I get it now. People talk about selling their soul. It's so easy, actually. They were right about these three. This is the thing you got to know. Like, this kind of thing is not sustainable. If you're going to live in a content house, you should have a time limit on it. You should know that you can only really do it for like six months to two years at most. Two years if you're like the most mentally sane person there is. Like, it's just not possible for this kind of thing to last. And if you're going to, like, you should go in to whatever content house you're going into knowing that. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, over here we have a stove that we do. Damn, I just realized this house is really ugly and like really old not too used. i would not yeah. want to live here bro have some piled up dishes that we do need but they got a gas like who still uses gas stoves nowadays i get i actually prefer gas stoves but like every modern house has electric now to put away um and oh they have a gas stove to put all that to put all that uh you know oil all the um cooking oil on her face apparently this is a f uh, so yeah <laughs> We also have like this like cool like, Dude, what is she laughing at? She's tweaking, bro. She's off something. She's just laughing at nothing. Secret compartments, like watch. Okay, that's what actually kind of sick. That's actually kind of sick. <laughs> this is Coco, by the way. My <laughs> awesome girlfriend. Why are they um, so, so awkward? The thing about our room is we've always wanted to have a dream room in a way. Kind of like we're somewhere where we feel really comfortable. And um, this is kind of the vision that we thought out. This is your dream room? This is like everything you were hoping for, like your your life's dream accumulated into like this normal ass fucking room that like every 21 year old has. Over and I are planning and pulling an all-nighter. I'll, I'll be straight with you, bro. There's no guys that live in these content houses. They're girls disguised as guys. And just like that, guys, Hype House is officially back on the map. Long time, Kay. I've been trying to find new talent. I've been trying to fill in people. Uh... I don't know about that one. And it's got down. We have had a couple people come in and out that haven't worked out. We've had a couple, you know, ups and downs. Man, that's not good. Everybody's got to work out, you know? You don't get enough exercise. You're not going to, you know, fit in well with, like, ambitious people. Dude, why is everyone so cringe? The newest member. Hey guys, first well, well. in the hype house. You already know. I, I kick her out immediately. <laughs> this is not real. This is not a content house. These, they script everything. There's no fun involved in this. I guarantee you when the cameras turn off, like, they don't even say a word to each other. They're just silent. They, it's, just all, it's all small talk. Hey guys, it's Chris London, and welcome to the first official Too Hype channel video. And this has been much- Dude, what's going- Wait, this is four years ago. They haven't done anything in five months. I thought this was like a sequel. I didn't know this was literally before Hype House. So we- Bro, these people, like, they just buy cheap houses with, like, all this random stuff in here, and there's no- they're, like, they justify it in their videos, and they go like, oh, it's cool, it's, like, aesthetic or whatever. But it was just there when they bought it. Here while I stream, or just, I don't know, we just hang out in here sometimes. This guy's so dry, bro. It's, it's so dry. There's nothing to this guy's personality. No, nothing interesting he has to say. Bed in the corner, there's always people here. Look up. You see that? There's grapes on the wall. It signifies that we are awesome. And you see what I mean? They just say shit. Here, now the walls are a little bit bizarre. Dude, who's handling the, the lighting? Like, who's handling the camera? Fix your exposure, bro. We didn't know, we, we don't really have a TV Wait. spot just yet. There's a lot of lioness going on. I like the vibes here. It's very powerful. This is a very Rawr. alpha, powerful lion's den house, all right? We got a cool fireplace. Sorry, sorry, They've sorry. never used this fireplace once in their lives. Turn it on. What you mean, turn on? You not see the, the graded thing? This is the fire this is a fireplace that you have to actually put wood in and stuff and you have to light. You can't just flip a switch and turn it on. This is not that kind of fireplace. 
to the master bedroom. Good vibe. This guy's so low energy. It's crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm one to talk. Like, the thing is, if I'm around other people, I got energy. Jordan, this is... Jesus, dude. Imagine what you could... Imagine the businesses you could start if you just sold these shoes. Okay, this would be a really sick theater room if the screen was bigger. Then it would be, like, amazing. So I think this has no affiliation to Hype House. Hey, they were, dude, a year ago, they were getting good views. What happened? Someone sold dude, I love how they have to go, like, exclusive tour. Because, like, to them, like, they consider themselves, like, celebrities. So it's like, oh, TMZ could get this tour. Or, you know, uh, Hollywood Reporter can get this tour. Or, you know, we got, we are the exclusive, you know. They're not going to have it. We're the exclusive. It's like, bro, this is just what people normally post. Like, if people do a house tour... They have the exclusive of their tour, but it's like they have to include this because they're so like they have such a deluded view of themselves. A neighborhood. Dude, I, I feel bad for their kids. Honestly. Like I like that's damn, I don't even want to think about that. Thinking about this on our channel for a couple of months. Dude, if you had described to me, like if I tell you, describe what a gold digger looks like. So I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to do a little artist sketch of it. This is exactly what I'd come up with. You guys know that we're happy without, you know, anything. We could be homeless, living under a tree, and we'd be fine. No, she can't. No, she can't. That's what they always say, bro. Even people who are not gold diggers are honest, and they'd be like, yeah, no, I want to live in a nice place. But of course, she's got to say this just to, like, overcompensate, because she doesn't know what it's like to not be greedy, so she doesn't know how to act properly like that. So she'll say a bunch of bullshit. This yeah, looks like Pablo part. Escobar's so see, hideout. You walk up to our house, you know, this is where um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the- Okay, this is actually fire. I like this backyard. Cooking video we made. Wait, this is actually kind of sick. I really like this backyard. This looks like a fun backyard, dude. A part of the- <laughs> okay, yeah, no, they doxed themselves for sure. No wonder, no wonder there's like five videos of this. They moved to a new house. Wow, I, I, I can't like, bro, they must view themselves as like gods among men. What the hell? This is, they did not buy this, bro. This is rented, for sure. No way. That's actually sick, dude. I can't imagine. I wanted, I want to experience that one day. We got these huge, severe looking balls because the price is outrageous, but it just fit perfectly with this area that we just had to get it. Dude, this couch looks obscenely ugly. It looks really uncomfortable. It's also, I think it weighs. Dude, what is with all these balls, dude? Why are there so many black and white balls? Like pounds, something crazy. No, way more. It's a representation of all the balls uh, that, uh, way more than that. That, she's, that she's taken. It took, again, like six guys to bring this in here. It did take six guys. And it has these colorful orange blossoms, you would call it. <laughs> those, look, those look like devil fruits. Uh, it's, it's really, really oh, like a baby. Man, I I put some crazy symbolism in my head just now. It took like six guys, a huge pot, devil fruits on top. The 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 oh man. And then he said I look like a baby. Man. Crazy, crazy symbolism just happened just now. But again, more severe balls. I love the way these look. This is probably like one of my favorite pieces in here because it's just I don't know, they're unique, they're dope, they're different. That's and again, like this- What do you mean? They're just target balls, but spray painted. Entryway is still not done. There's still things that need to be added to the wall. They still got, they got to put more balls in there. It's not enough. We spend like 60, 70% of my time cleaning the house. Um, majority of the time, I'm just- Oh, who would have thunk? She spends the majority of her time cleaning the house. Cleaning the couch. But another thing too is like, I'm, I'm teaching the girls how to be very cautious and clean and like, not put their dirty feet on the couch and stuff, so it ends up working out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I really feel sorry for the kids, dude. I really feel sorry for them. Like, why would you buy all this if you don't want your kids to have fun with it? Whenever you want to set the mood, Ace family, whenever we have guests over. Every time, you can turn it on and it's, you know, it's actually a functioning fireplace. It's not a functioning fireplace. It's just a heater with a fake fireplace behind it. We had the same thing. Those fireplaces suck. For those who don't know how to play tic-tac-toe, um... <laughs> Who doesn't know how to play tic-tac-toe? These, these are hurt. Okay, this place is really kind of honestly dull. A lot of people know this about me, but I've always loved and appreciated and had a total respect for Buddhas. 
Um, and so... Buddhas? Multiple? There's more than one Buddha? This is the first I'm hearing about this. I really wanted like these Buddha fountains here in the house. It's kind of ironic actually because the philosophy of Buddha is like live prudently, you know? That you don't need much to be happy. Don't spend excessively and don't live like well, well, well beyond your means. When like there's there's really not much to be gained from, from all this excessive spending your brain power and your time and your energy on all these materialistic things. That's the philosophy of the Buddha. It's kind of ironic. There's a there's a huge like representation behind them. Um, their Buddhas are for like enlightenment and they bring a lot of luck and love and prosperity and abundance to your home. Then over here are like, um they don't bring abundance. Oh my um, if you guys know what this plant is, comment down below. But um, basically, it's considered like Dude, she's going hard. She's saying comment, comment, comment. She's trying to ramp that engagement up. Money plants, a money tree. The, the gray and white and black and, and off-white and all that stuff, it's like, it's cool and all because it's inoffensive, but there's nothing, nothing exceptional, nothing special about it. There's nothing that like exudes personality about it. it just, there's a lot of representation behind it, but it's very calming and it's just very good energy in our house. And good it's energy, cool. positive vibes only. Crystal energy, dude. Rappuccinos. What else we got here? Hey, yeah, the Buddha would be proud for sure. Dude, it's really annoying how like, the whole house is just all white. Like there's no other colors that you see. Yeah. Jesus, uh, dude. Walk-in closet, and here we. Have this is obscene. Backyard. <laughs> Wait. So what happens if you shoot a basketball and it like bounces off, or it like rolls off, or goes over the thing? Do you just? Is it lost forever? You never get that basketball again. You all know this right here. Life. Look, there's more balls back here too. This, it's everywhere. To the house. Got these massive Saphir balls again. I don't know if you guys realize or not, but I feel like a common theme around our house is Saphir balls. I and noticed. Waterfalls. I, I noticed. And then, what? Wait, wait, wait. House is Saphir. Saphir? He says it with two syllables. And then more waterfalls over here. Waterfalls and balls are like a common theme. Maybe. Well, that's just wonderful. That's great. We, we love it. There's a bunch of balls everywhere. I wonder what I wonder what she's like. She'd be like, oh, the, it represents something. It represents it represents that. I wonder what she'd say for that. Balls and flowing water. What do you think that represents? Okay. I, I actually fuck with this theater room. I actually the like it. Like these are the kinds of rooms that I'm like, leave everything plain. You know, everything else in your house it should be like exciting, and it shouldn't be like, oh look. Here's just a normal wooden plank. Isn't it so beautiful? But like in the theater, nothing should be distracting from what's going on on the screen. I like this. Outdoor boxing ring with the field lights. I'm jealous, honestly. I'm jealous. I'm gonna just straight up. And it's beautiful. And I can't believe I actually have a picture of myself in my house, but God bless. <laughs> and this Bro, is- Bro, who does this? Who's like, th it's crazy. They act so Hollywood, bro. My stomach hurt, boo -boo. <laughs> you always do that to me. Why? It's a grown man, dude. Like, you make so much money. You could stop making cringe content now. You could never make cringe content for the rest of your life and you'd still be fine. I don't know why you do it. Oh, the Whatever happened to that YouTuber, that family YouTuber, Daddy05? I mean, I guess it's, I guess he's Daddy O three now. You're gonna say so. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that this is the first time in my entire life that mm -hmm. I have ever felt like I truly have a home. Mm -hmm. I felt like you've said that before, but yeah. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> NPC, bro. She just says words. She just says words to try to please people and just finds patterns. Oh, this this will get people off my back. This will get people off my case. And she just say those words and not ever like think about think with any depth in what she's saying. She doesn't speak with purpose. Like I'm trying to do a house like tour review. I'm trying to like figure out if they have good taste or not in like their home, like decor and all that stuff. And I can't, I'm so distracted by like their, their, by their, uh, complex. From Brazil. And was Wait, why is he called the Ace Family? Isn't his name Austin McBroom? Who's Ace? Look at the last, that's why you guys. <laughs> can relate to this problem over here, but we have a literal box with shoes, and it's just, oh, it's, oh, 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 what? <laughs> what a rich person problem to have. We just have a box full of shoes, we just don't know what to do with it. Hey, family, come on out. Dude, this, this camera's making mad noise. I don't know what, 
Like, do you pay your camera like two dollars an hour? This, what, what kind of equipment is he using? Those seats look uncomfortable as hell. I would not want to be eating food while sitting on that. It's now a little here. too perfect, though. A little too perfect. Who said perfect is bad? It's right in the heart of the home. All the truth. Okay, I kind of like that. Get, get, take the tape off of it, and I kind of like it. Feels like we're not even in LA. Like we're in. Where are we? We're in Bali or Indonesia. <laughs> One tree. Really Here's the problem with these people's movie theaters. You can only sit seat six people comfortably. Like, dude, my friend's movie theater in his basement. You could sit six people comfortably. Like, if you really want to have, like, a Super Bowl party, you need to fit, like, 25 people. This is, this is what I tried to do, oh and unfortunately, they, they screwed me over, and I couldn't get it. Oh, my god. this gosh. is all I ever wanted. That's all you ever wanted? The light, the, the light, the light, the light. Is that too much to ask? A place to put my, like, $300,000 worth of clothes? Is that too much to ask people? All I ever wanted. Dude, I could live here. Like, just give me this room. That's it. Like just the room and I'll make that my apartment. This is all I this is all me and three other people like me would ever need. Are you serious? <laughs> An eight? I give it a three. Or actually a two. It's excessive. You're not gonna use most of it. You'd rather, you know, like buy an island with that kind of money. You're serious. For this masterpiece? I got it online so I didn't think it would be like this retardedly big. Like I mean it's twelve feet. Oh, sniper wolf just said retarded. Ban canceled, canceled. Sniper Wolf is honestly the most infuriating YouTuber to watch for me personally. I know a lot of other people are like, I hate, like, ju like just seeing her face makes me mad. There was a kid in my grade level growing up. His name was Zion, and he always like, like ran. I like insulted him, and he like punched me in the face or something like that. But he was so weak, I didn't even hurt. But we got in trouble, and he's making up all this shit. He was like a really annoying guy. No one liked him. It turned out later on he turned out to be gay. We could have seen that coming. But, like, we noticed, like, he had a lot of issues. Like, you could, oh, he's autistic. No, he wasn't autistic. He just had, like, he, he couldn't understand the words that were coming from people's mouths. Like, man, you could be like, yeah, you're, you're a piece of shit. Like, get away from me, dude. And he'd be, like, like looking at you like this, like, trying to get close to you. Like, he, he had no understanding of anything that anyone was doing. But then he showed moments of of, like, understanding of social situations to be, like, yeah, no, he's not, like, he's not special needs. He's not any of this stuff. Like, he's a normal dude, but he just, he's so desperate for attention in one way or another that he's just trying these things and failing miserably. And then when we were, like, 12 years old, it turned out that he watched Sniper Wolf, and he wasn't ashamed. Like, he would tell people, and we'd be like, why do you watch Sniper Wolf? And we'd be like, I don't know, I just like her content. And we looked on his thing, and it was, he watched all of her videos. He would watch all of her videos as it came out, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That's her audience. Didn't Sniper Wolf break up with Sausage recently? There's always been rumors about it, you know, like over the past like 10 years or something, however long it's been. Yeah, I could have sworn there was some like commentary video talking about how they broke up finally. You know, that's actually kind of, that's pretty modest actually compared to what I thought Sniper Wolf was going to be like. There's another video here, but... Hello, friends! Oh, yeah, this is more, this is more like what I thought Sniper Wolf would buy. I, w I wondered what she was doing with all that money. That's that's sick. It's actually kind of a nice. This actually looks like a fun house. Anyone who has dogs that are this small, you can't trust them. You can't trust them. They're unethical people. Just by having those dogs, you could tell you they, like they're evil, low key, and they'll hide it. But they're, they're wearing a mask over themselves. Oh, I just like everything. I want the whole world to be cute and nice and friendly and all that stuff. But really, they're evil deep down. Peace, you know. I want both open. No. Yes. See, guys, the door's open both ways. Yes. I get it. Sausage role plays as her dad. That's what he does. He found the little key. What is it with everything being white in all these people's houses? I know another girl who has a white G-Wagon. Who's, who reminds me a lot of her. Interesting, the patterns you pick up on, you know? I cook on there's only two people living here, and I guess there's only one, pe one person living here now. There's no reason to have, like, all this giant house, but I guess she doesn't know what to do with all that money. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know. 
Yeah, look at her, you know, soy Wojak face thumbnails. This is what she does, bro. 33 million subscribers. Yeah, I'm going to give her house a zero just because I don't like her. I feel like every one of these subscribers, 31.5 million, every one of them is someone you got to watch out for. They should be put on a list of like people to avoid. So without further ado, welcome to the Dobre house. <laughs> it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere though. This bad boy is mine. This Wait. My car. Wasn't this the, uh, wasn't this the same Ferrari that the guy threw cheese on? Or was that an 812? Yeah, yeah, it was an 812 super fast. Yo, what's up? What's up you guys are Dober Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's my kind of humor. If I ever see the Dory Brothers in person, I'm doing that again. I'm gonna, you know, just for a little throwback, I'm gonna throw cheese on their car. Walk in is a nice koi pond. Um, we are all about nature. We love the environment. We love nature. So don't say that. Like, just be honest, bro. You, if you bought a house like this, you don't care about nature. But. It's cool to have a koi pond with lily pads. That's cool. Hot tub. Hey, and we got a hot tub. Dude, this location is, it feels like this would be like a horror movie set, like film set. Like this, this is a great place to come and like, you know, be a serial killer. Kick it, kick it. Woo! Kick it. Oh. He ain't even hit it that hard, bro. These guys are not, they're not with it, bro. If he was really about it, he would hit it as hard as he could. He'd, he'd 12 to 6 elbow that. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Take a look. Wow. You can see all the lake through here. You can see all the, all the, you know, scaffolding from the unfinished construction. What a beautiful view. Bro, look at the way this dude's standing. He's just on the edge like this. He's more badass than all the Dover brothers combined. The garage? Yeah, garage, four, uh, four cars, plus you can do lifts in three of the spots. Okay? That's what I like to hear, man. That's what I like. A garage with lifts? That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, these like crazy rich houses, they're kind of boring. Like there's really nothing to it. It's just a whole bunch of space for no reason. Like when you're going through it, there's not like, like, oh man, I, imagine all the things we could do here. It's, you're not thinking about anything because like you can hardly do renovations to it. See, the house. See this is, this is a more reasonable house to buy. Yeah. I like, I actually like the look of this house. Simple. This is the house. Well, for a YouTuber. This is we'll nice. Up to a studio, you know, Eric. This is nice. Like these are the kinds of things that I want to see in homes. Not like, oh, here's a random room with nothing in it that has like some weird statues in it just for aesthetic. You're not going to even use the room, but it's just to show off because like, you know, showing off your wealth is cool now. It's like, use it for something. And, and it's like, if you have all these things in your home and then you have extra space, cool, whatever. But it's like, there are things that you can have in your house that are great things to have in your house that you're just not having. Because you don't think, like the Ace family, they don't have a studio in their home. Until I need my dream house, first thing I'm doing is putting a gym. A real, like, lifetime fitness size gym. Then I'm putting, a like, a whole last music studio. Multiple booths, too. I like when people use their home as something to help their lives function. Not just, like, a piece to show off to the other women at the yoga class. Oh, the, my home has a, a, a foyer. And you say it like foyer and it's all fancy. Like, I, I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care about like showing off and all that. I want my home to be functional and this is functional. I like this. Right. <laughs> no, I don't. So yeah, here we have the master bedroom. This is what me and you. Well, how do people watch them? They're so low energy. They're so like, hey guys, yeah, uh, we're so excited to do this thing and be sure to subscribe. Woo, let's go. It's like, they're trying so hard, but even when they try their hardest, they're still, like, so not fit for YouTube. I don't understand how they have this many subscribers. You know what? I, I actually kind of like this house. I kind of like it. It's really stupid and simple and bland, and, like, there's nothing special about it. And it doesn't t show anyone, but I guess there's not much of a personality to show anyways, so I guess it, it's reasonable. Bro, you know how many house tours... Like the Logan Paul, Jake Paul, yeah. like whole crew has had. Having on them haters. And let's flip and do that thing. So basically, I woke up. Man, this guy ruined a generation. All these like cringe TikTokers all take after Jake Paul if you really think about it. Boys, wait. Like he's just, he's teaching people how to, how to not act in the real world. And people are going out and doing it. It's called. Hi, Wong. Wong is. 
Again, once again, small dogs, bro. I'm telling you, people with like little itty bitty dogs like that, you can't trust them. Oh yeah, no, they did have this. They rented it for a little while. This isn't like some, like, oh, is this the new house? They did have this for a while. That's no. crazy. This is where it all started. This is where that whole, it's everyday bro thing dropped. And then Rice Gum, like, hated Jake Paul's guts after that. Like, like he developed a burning passion for Jake Paul. And that started the whole Jake Paul versus Logan Paul thing. And then they hated each other. And then Shane Dawson made his thing. And he had the redemption. And then he went to the suicide port. Like, this is really where it all started, if you think about it. This was drama alert when it was like... Well, this was just after a peak, actually, I'd say. I mean, this was a lot more popular of a drama alert, but... I, I honestly drama alert peaked in entertainment value back when like all that Alki David stuff was happening. Oh, a helicopter and a Bugatti Veyron. There's so much money to go around this industry oh, think... and people just don't know how to spend it. it <laughs> Dude, there's no reason to have a house this big for like if you're gonna live in it for like three months. You're not gonna be able to fill it up with anything. Do a no. Does your house have balls? Yo Again with the balls, bro. Why Why do all these houses have to have balls? Damn it! Who's wearing shoes in the house? Crompton! Does it look like you're wearing shoes? Oh my god. This guy, Nick Crompton. Whoa! Been a minute since I've even seen his face. Are you f***ing Brett? Dude, look at the comments. Do you think of it? This era was unlike anything else that happened. This like, it, and we, did, we took it for granted. No matter how unpopular you are, like his, his own fans are recognizing like how much hate he actually got. You know, I beg of you, please don't destroy this home. The workers are definitely like, what the fuck kind of world are we living in? In its closet. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a f***ing god church! I can literally get inside what? of here. Close it on me. Close it. A god church? He said it. Oh my god. That- Whoa, I forgot about that. His room, it's flipping all over. That. And then we- I can't stand this guy, bro. I can't- I can't watch this- these videos. Leg lifts with the rest of the football team. That's why I have such skinny legs. I mean, they're kind of freaking dope now, but they used to- Ah, oh, that hurt. They used to be skinny. Weird, dude. <laughs> Look at I mean, nice little elevated lift. Is that a Brabus? Or is that just a normal- It's just a normal 4x4, it looks like. I do kind of fuck with this house. I do kind of like it. Yo, it looks so good yeah. at night. Oh. Yeah, this is- this is nice. This is a nice house, dude. For real. This is back in the day when everyone hated Jake Paul and no one- Like, everyone was like, oh, Logan Paul's the good brother. But like secretly, people who were in the know knew that like Logan Paul was no better. In fact, he's worse. This tree is insane, dude. I fuck with this. The tree yeah, and like the the all like the whole outdoor gym thing that you have over here. Like this is what I. This is like a dream house kind of thing. Buddha, the statue, every statue you see, all the foliage. This is the second time we've seen a extremely excessive house with a Buddha in it. This is. Actually, a really cool-looking ping-pong table. Just this wooden... It's probably not even, like, a ping-pong table, but... The, the, I, I like the look of this one. Wait a second. Hey, yo, what is this? He unprivated all of his old videos. I thought he said he was going to delete his channel completely, and he was going to make a channel, like... Uh, like, whatever what people want to upload to it. Look, he, he unprivated all, like, the shitty videos that he did. Public rape experiment. This is the kind of shit that he was doing. Everyone hated him, hated all the content that he did. And he's like, I'm deleting my channel... And then he just privated everything, and then he unprivated it. No one should be subscribed to this guy. FouseyTube, no one should be watching him. Bro, bro, like, I don't even know what's going on. This dude will always be second place. It doesn't matter if he's with David Dobrik or with Logan Paul or with George. It doesn't matter who he's with. He will always be the sidekick. He will condemn to forever be, like, Logan Paul's friend. I'm never going to call him whatever this name is. He's just Logan Paul's friend forever. You know, I've never actually seen the Yes Men's, uh, I mean the side. <laughs> Making a cup of tea. You want to boil something? Boiling water! Wait, but why did he cut? I don't know how much time passed since he did that. I mean, that's cool that you have that. That's like really useful. These are the kinds of features that I like. I'm like, oh, that's like useful, you know, that's functional. That's what I like to see in houses. But... Like, you thought nobody would notice the cut? Making a cup of tea. You want to boil something? Bo what is this? Bazinga's always been like the... Ethan is his name, right? Yeah, he, he's the guy that KSI made all those diss tracks on. This guy's always been the butt of the crew. It's hilarious. Files 
And what we've done in here is sort of... This is... I'd be scared out of my mind. This looks claustrophobic. I feel like I'm in fucking Maze Runner. It's about to crush me. This is what I like to see. See, this guy, like, this is not a super expensive house, but it's like, look at how big this TV is, man. Like, this guy knows what he's doing. He knows how to spend his money. Harry is actually the best uh, person in all the side men. Seriously. You good? Yep. Hello, guys! Merry Christmas! And I love how his cameraman is actually shooting at 60 frames a second with a high shutter speed so you can see everything. There's no motion blur. Why would you have a house like this and then you have such shit cars? Table tennis bats, as you can see. And then if you come up the stairs, this is where my brother hangs out, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. This house is like, it's, it looks like a really cheap house. It looks like he's just having a ton of fun in there. Not even moved in yet. This is as raw as you get. It's crazy how Randolph is like, He's like a sideman to the sideman. Another fridge. I think they call this the American fridge because it's so big. And this is that utility stuff, you know. So wash in the American fridge. Look at how big you are, bro. This is the this is the Randolph fridge. I know houses that are not even half this size, quality, newness, everything like that. That are over a million dollars. I don't think KSI ever did a house tour. His would probably be the biggest, but. This was like the crown jewel of all like the Sidemen house. I remember when this came out, even like Keemstar was like, oh my God, Vic bought the, like good for him and all that shit. And everyone was like, pray, everyone was like so happy for him. And so was I. I'm like, way to fucking do it, man. Honestly, I do like the look of this couch. I don't think it would be super comfortable, but I like the look of it. The kitchen. White and black usually isn't like, it's generic, but I like what he's doing with it. I like how much black there actually is compared to the white. I like the balance, you know? Here. And this is cool. All this stuff being like dark gray, this is like a beautiful kitchen. The kitchen is massive. You could do it. That's amazing. That's amazing, actually. I really, because I'll fuck with round tables, first of all, because Knights of the Round Table, we're all equals, right? I wish the table was bigger, but I like how like the chef could just hand off the food or whatever. And you're right here. You're here. You're here and the food being cooked right behind you. And you, you might think it's a cupboard, but in actual fact, we have a, a utility room. Oh, that's sick. Over here in the secret utility, we also have access to the garage. And he has good music choice too. Like this is not, it's not like fantastic music, but it's at least it's not annoying music. See, I like when, when people do interesting things like this. Because it feels like a whole different vibe to the rest of the house. Like you're going inside a cave. And just having a different like aesthetic inside your bathroom makes you feel like there's so much more privacy than there actually is. Did the drone pilot really risk the whole damn drone just for this one shot? He did. He did. <laughs> I like the color of the carpet. Lately, I've really been fucking with darker, like dark gray carpet. It's so much more cozy than just white carpet. And here we are. Like, look, does this, does this not feel cozy, like at home? My side men clothing will have a wonderful new home. That is a good use for a huge walk-in closet like this. If you have a merch thing, like if you're a YouTuber and you have merch, you could store all your merch there. You could test your merch. Oh, ship me this new product. I want to see how it is. And you could store a bunch of stuff there. There's even a, a, a fancy drawer for fancy things. I don't have this many fancy things. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. And there's even- I like, I like Vic. I like Vic. Compared to all those other people previously, oh my God, this is exactly what I needed. A place to store all my fancy things. I like Vic. And like two things for for shoes, I, I think. I, yeah, two things. What are they? This is slidey shelf, angle shelves, angle shelves. I don't know what I'm doing. This room. Oh yeah. Ooh, this looks nice. This looks nice. This is a theater, isn't it? Yeah. Get a bigger TV or get a projector. Get a, get a screen that rolls down. We have a whole cinema room got the bar in the back for anyone that wants drinks got what is again soon to be an awesome gym it's got the tv the mirror Ooh. is already set up it has like a little kitchen area as well our own little little gym bathroom so you know if you if you smell really bad after a session you can even jump in the shower here nice before you uh, there you go. go that's what i was looking for nice and greet the rest of the world you see everything in this house is just it makes sense it's functional it's it's cool it's like I can imagine like all the fun things I do over here, the friends that I ha ha have over, and like we'd be running around and all this stuff. And they certainly have to like, they're like, yeah, we bought this like giant, like multi million dollar thing, but I had to teach my kids, I have to make sure that it gets drilled into their head that they can't, uh, you know, let their feet go on the sofa. It's like, dude, let your kids' feet go on the sofa. Buy a house that's half the price, 
Buy a sofa that's half the price if you're so worried about that kind of thing. The first thing you should buy with your money, if you if you're uh, you have a lot of money and you want to buy all these fancy things, the first thing you should buy is peace of mind. If you can afford a Porsche, buy a Lexus. If you can afford a Bugatti, buy a Porsche. If you can afford 10 Bugattis, then buy a Bugatti. Like that kind of thing. The most fun car I ever had was my first car. It was $3,000. And I literally, like, to get good parking spots, I would just, like, back up into, like, bushes. I'd have people, like, because people, like, wanted to key the car because they didn't know what keying the car would be like. They'd, oh, I'm like, yo, you can go ahead and key my car. And they'd do it and be like, oh, that's so cool. I, I've always wanted to do that. Like, we had so much fun. We'd whip that car like it was nothing, dude. We I ran it for, like, another 15,000 miles after I got any, after I was supposed to get my old change and all that stuff, and it still ran. And and, and having that kind of peace of mind, just a lot, like, the peace of mind to go, like, yeah, I can get this car dirty. I can put my feet on the dash, like, that is just the peace of mind that you get from that is unmatched like i can imagine myself like going around on here and going like yeah dude jump on the couch jump on the like wear shoes wherever you want that kind of thing you know i don't like this thing this this looks gross honestly but yeah this is the best one of these houses so far good on you vic i think i get what's going on here i think all these tiktok houses are just rented they're not buying any of these homes open it yeah just spot me real quick yeah yeah oh that feels that's a pretty firm mattress. <laughs> Alright, Blake, you wanna do your little room tour? I knew it. Why did I know that was gonna be the most replayed part of the video? Alright, we're at the house. One year ago, yeah. Oh, I guess that, you know, fight caused him some brain damage. That makes sense. You gotta give him some, you know, give him some leniency when he does stupid shit like that. <laughs> That's really impressive, actually. <laughs> Dixie, can I put my feet in your hot tub? No. Okay. This is so weird, dude. The way that Josh Peck just started doing all this like Viner shit and then all this TikTok shit and just started to try to like pierce the, the area of YouTubers without actually doing what YouTubers do. And he tried to like force himself into it. It's really weird, man. Dude, I had nothing nice to say about any of these people. Like, am I just a cynical person? Like, what's the deal here? I like to think like, okay, nah, these are all like shit YouTubers. But even back in the day, like, I never had nice things to say about YouTubers with like, if I was watching like T. Martin's old house tour video with his like GTR, his white GTR, I think, like I was still talking the same amount of shit back then. I see girls all the time, like in these apartment complexes or whatever, that look just like this, that also like, she's a normal, like average person. It blows my mind that people like put all these people on a pedestal. Like, oh my God, Dixie D'Amelio. Like if people were to see her in public, they'd like swarm her. Like dude, she's a normal fucking person. If you have ADHD, you understood what I was saying. If you don't, it was probably really confusing. Okay, never mind. She's like exceptionally stupid. No wonder she appeals to that kind of audience who would like go swarm her in public. She's like actually a stupid person. I stand corrected, my bad. You know what I find that's like an interesting little pattern here? The more accessories a girl buys, the less of a personality she has. She does it to compensate for her lack of personality. My bag wall. Most of these are either gift. That's the first time I've ever heard the words bag wall in my life. What does she do exactly? Is she just the sister of Charlie D'Amelio or does she also do similar kind of shit? Actually, you could ask the same thing. You could, like, sister of Charlie D'Amelio. What does Charlie D'Amelio even do? TikTok dances? You think about that shit for a second? TikTok dances actually kind of suck. Like, there's crazy good dancers out there that, like, they don't get any, they don't get nearly the level of recognition that TikTok dancers do. Like, bro, have you guys ever seen this video right here? B-Dash and Jaja Vankova? I'm not saying that, like, you have to be this good or whatever. But what I'm saying is people who watch Charlie D'Amelio and these other people because they, they're, they're dancing, they, they dance good or whatever. No, you fucking don't. Like, stop lying to yourself. These people need to stop lying. That's all it is. That's all I'm asking for. They don't make dance content. They make sex appeal content for children. Just they make thirst trap content. They make lolly thirst trap content. Just stop lying. That's all I'm asking. Like, just be straight up about what you're watching. Whoa! Look at how fast he moved his feet right there, bro. Look at this. 
Even the music is fire, dude. Yeah, the music in this video is fire too. Jesus, dude, 15 million views. At my front door. And I can't watch it. Never mind. I can't stand his voice. I can't watch it. 2020. How? He sounds even worse in this video. Million subscribers. We're giving away 100. Anal, anal beads, vibrating anal beads. That's what he's giving away to his audience who needs it. These guys are equally as cringe. I'm not saying they're actually not more, not less cringe than any of the people I showed previously, Dobre Brothers and all this shit, but nobody ever talks about them. When that drama happened at the hotel with like the shining thing for uh, Brett Rivera, then the drama community knew who, it was, who Brett Rivera was and they kind of remembered him from like the old like Vine days, I believe. I think he was a Viner. But literally, like the Ben Aslar, Asler or whatever, and like Brett and Lexi Rivera and these people, like they stay really low key. Like their only, their only audience is like the kid audience. I have these cousins and uh, it's two little girls, they're twins. And when they were like eight years old, a few years ago, they were watching like Brett, they're like, these are our favorite YouTubers and they're watching their stuff and it's like so obviously faked. It's like the fakest stuff ever and their reactions are terrible too and it's like kids should not be learning from these people. And and they're talking to me as if like, isn't that so crazy that he did that? And I'm like, oh, they don't know that he's faking this stuff. Like I thought it was obvious, but they, they didn't know. Like I knew watching Food Battle 2006 when I was six, I knew that they were just BSing all this stuff and it was just a funny video. But these people don't know that the, the Rivera brother and sister and these people that they're faking this stuff. Ready? 40 bucks. Dude, you could have like cut her. You could have sliced her eye, bro. Now who's gonna pick that up? A car is gonna drive over that. You better pick that up, dude. A new house reveal in three. Ah, welcome to my new house. What? This is insane. Oh my god. This is insane. This guy's acting like he doesn't have like a twenty million dollar house. Whoa, wait. This just jogged my memory. Seeing this thumbnail, I remember in the drama, what Brett Rivera really got pissed off at was when the guy asked, he's like, hey, Brett, do you kiss your sister? I don't know if they're actually siblings. I don't know. I think they might be doing it for content. They like hump each other and stuff in the kids' YouTube videos and kids watch this and their parents are like, oh, it's just kids, content creators. They're not going to have anything, but this is what they do. This is what happens when you, when you have a separate area that's outside of the capitalist market of content that everyone can, can like keep the creators in check all the viewers and all the other creators and when you have a separate area where it's just like ah nobody's nobody needs to worry about us because the parents trust us no you cannot ever afford any creator that level of trust where you just give them a pass and go like yeah my kids can watch them no either your kids can watch everything or they can watch nothing and to give yourself this false sense of security will allow will basically encourage these creators to always push the boundaries and just go for like the, the the carnal things that work on kids that they they have no business watching. Like basically like Spider-Man, Elsa porn, the stuff that that's why that happened on YouTube Kids. If you don't know, you can look it up. The reason why that happened is because these parents like they, they don't they don't keep these people in check. This one is Andrew's room. Oh, oh my god! I knew I was gonna find something like that in this video. I knew it. I knew it. Brett Rivera gets his sister to do all this stuff in the video that like appeals to like the little boys and the little girls and they watch it and they don't know what they're watching but they kind of have an inkling because like my little cousins they were eight years old and they were like oh uh our parents let us watch it but there's some videos that we can't show our parents like they they kind of want to watch it behind their parents back they, they're getting an inkling of it and now they're they're 12 years old and they don't watch them anymore they know better now but like it's, it's, these people should not be on YouTube. These people should not have subscribers. They should not like be promoted by YouTube. They should not, he should not have been given a verified badge. And I swear to God, this stuff is in all of their videos. It's in their TikToks, it's in their Instagram videos. It's in all that of like, I, I was saying like humping each other, but they've done like a lot worse. They've done like literal like twister sex position challenges, like that kind of thing. Like I, I kind of expected something Next like this to happen in this video. This is a, kids channel this is very clearly 10 million views it's all kids watching this somehow they don't get affected by kappa which they absolutely should be oh my god yeah this is how you this is how you really appeal to kids like if you want that kid audience that you gotta like give them 
a bit of props because they know what they're doing with the kid audience. They know what they're doing. Like they've really mastered the art of of making videos for seven year olds where they would just be glued to the screen. They'll never want to look away and they could just binge all your videos over and over and over again. And then when they watch all your videos, they're going to watch them again and then they're going to watch them all again. And they've really mastered the art of that. But uh, yeah, these guys are fucking pieces of shit. Fuck them. I rate all their houses zero. And anyone who ever sold them their house, you should be ashamed. Speaking of being ashamed, anyone who looks up to Faze Rug, because I, I knew this guy very, very closely. And we worked together quite a lot. And he's like my uh, role model YouTuber, like the YouTuber I look up to, the YouTuber I want to be like, is, the YouTuber that inspired me to do YouTube was Faze Rug. That's a red flag, dude. If anyone ever says that, they don't deserve to be a YouTuber. The house, look at how huge this thing Wait, is. Go. Damn. Oh, did you look at that? Another phase rug home. Delicious. Another $10 million home. Big doors. And as you can see on the wall, we have these two paintings, and these are actually Kanye West's first ever shoes that he created. They're Nike Yeezy. We're gonna go through. Those were his first? This is the Red Octobers. I did not know they were the first. Maybe he's right. I didn't know that. This door right here, this is the room that I'm probably never going to use, but it's the laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to wash clothes. Yeah, that's a true fact right there. So I don't know how to wash clothes. Now that is officially the richest statement I've ever heard in my life. I don't know how to wash clothes. Honestly, dude, I could go through and dissect all like the little stupid things that he says in all of his videos, but I, I just, I can't stand him. Like a lot of people... A lot of people want to be a YouTuber because they want to make a lot of money. But that's the wrong mindset to have if you want to do YouTube. You should want to make a lot of money so that you could be a YouTuber. The YouTuber is the end goal here. In, a, in an ideal world, in a proper system, people like this should not be allowed to become successful. Or not, not allowed. They should be allowed to become successful, but they should not have the, oppor they, they should not have the, uh, the ability to do so. You know what I'm saying? Like other people who truly deserve it, should come up as opposed to them. Because you see the amount of money that he's spending, right? This isn't the only, like, I've shown three videos so far of his of his homes. There's another one right here. The amount of money that he makes, and this is also like FaZe Rug's buddy, I believe. Like, this money comes from FaZe Rug. The amount of money that FaZe Rug has generated for him and his crew is enough to sustain a hundred, a hundred YouTubers who truly deserve to make it. And they don't get to make it. They don't get to have that spot because FaZe Rug, Rug is taking that attention away, taking that spot, taking that ad revenue away from them. Oh. Astro hat. I'm wearing a... Nah, this is crazy nostalgic, dude. This is back when we used to be like, back when they were actually, like we'd look on MLG and we'd be like, oh, FaZe versus Evil Geniuses and all that shit, right? Like we'd actually watch the matches and think, this is way back then. Hat today because I'm doing my hair. But we're at the FaZe house. Should I show the front or no? Bad. This is is that Banks? Oh, I do that. Yeah, but... A while back, a couple years ago, Jake Paul was like, "We were the first person people to do this like content house, gaming house, whatever. We were the first people to do this shit with Team Ten. No, dude, no, you were not, not even close. Nice little this is actually so iconic. Like looking back, this is so iconic. Little, like, you know, whatever. And anytime some shit goes out of the house. We want to come down here. here. We want to come down here. We just. Yeah. I'm going to show you this new phase house as you guys. This is where it all went downhill. When phase started going Hollywood, that's where it all went downhill. Welcome, phase house 2017. I what's going on, guys? It is Alex. <laughs> I'll be real with you guys. This house sucks. Just hold the camera. I don't like it like that, bro. Dude, where is this house? Because I know there are OG houses in New York. And I know they have, like, they, I think they have, like, a little gaming compound in Atlanta. Like, for Atlanta phase, whatever, for their, like, esports shit. And this is another gaming house. I would assume this is Hollywood. That shit's This looks like, and it's like Blaziken Tico. This looks like Hollywood, too. I would assume it's also Hollywood. Nikan, we got Seabass, we got Jailmock. We have gaming. I don't know any of... I guess if this is for esports, then it makes sense. But I don't understand why you'd ever need a home outside of the states, honestly, for for like Phase's brand. You know, this would be sick to have in a home. It's excessive and unnecessary, and it would be mad expensive. But not a like a little land set up, not just for like PCs for like hardcore, you know, headphones on boring ass gaming, but like couch co-op where you can set up like eight 
TVs and you could have system link between all these different systems or you could have like a area where you got like where you could play like 16 player whatever on Mario Kart Double Dash or like eight player Smash and all that stuff. It would be nice to have all these LAN setups, right? Play old games, play old like Xbox System Link, Halo 1, you know, on Blood Gulch type thing. That would be pretty cool. The, the concept is cool, but like the hardcore esports thing, I don't like. Let's go! <laughs> FaZe Banks gotta have some crazy stories to tell, man. This dude's been through it all. FaZe Banks was Aiden Ross before Aiden Ross. Yo, what's going on, bro? Yo, what's going what on, mate? What are you doing? Yo, what's up? What's good, man? What the f*** are you just doing in here? I wasn't playing Fortnite. Just just some other game. You know what I'm saying? I don't play Fortnite. But I just literally saw... My crib. You got a whole crib in here. Kitchen and stuff. It's, it's cool. What the hell? This dude lives in a kitchen. FaZe Jarvis was unhinged, bro. Ever since he made that uh, like video, like crying that he can't play Fortnite anymore, I knew he was unhinged from the start. I should have seen it coming when he did that crypto scam, save the kids. You see, but the summer, girls by the pool, I've been out popping bottles. You already know. Was that Amanda summer, Cerny? Girls by the pool. Damn, I haven't seen Amanda Cerny in forever. What's she been on, bro? Has she been making content? Cause I know she had beef with one of those chicks, one of those like Lele Ponds or one of them. I don't know what happened between all that all that Viner stuff. I feel like if she really wanted to, if she really cared, she could make a comeback, but maybe she made enough money and she's done with all this content stuff. And if I remember correctly, I, I think she was actually kind of old. Like, not old, but like old for a content creator. Like, I don't think she was, you know, 21 like all these other content creators are. Yeah, see, 32. That's like, you know, actress, like 27, 27. And Lele Pons, this was literally seven years ago when this was all happening so she was like 20. the difference between a 20 year old and a 25 year old is like night and day the difference in in clarity of mind is unreal it's like they're completely different races what up oh my fucking god this guy t-wop he copyright strike my video dude baby if you don't know t-wop is the yeah editor see he's the editor for phase what the f are you doing Yo, what? Oh, was this after Tifu left? Three years. Was that? I think that was right when it happened. Maybe. I think that was. Yeah, yeah, that was. Is this full deal? What are you doing? What is this? Spot in this house. This is one of the nicest in-home theaters I've I have not been reviewing these homes at all, but this is pretty fucking sick. Oh, this house isn't like some like insane, you know, Super hyper modern, like fifty million dollar thing. This is like a normal looking a brand house. Brand new home, whole upstairs area into a recording studio. Our first edition here is this piano. See, this is what I like. Like, I think all the phase houses are all pretty nice. I don't think there's been a like a bad phase house. Think, this doesn't even make. What is this? You see, like these kinds of things are cool and all, but then you realize like there's no functionality. This is supposed to be a faucet, right? Where's the mirror though? Where is the mirror? You're just gonna have this cool looking faucet, but it's like... No, like genuinely, what? It doesn't even make any sense, man. You're right, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense, but not in like a cool way, in like a dysfunctional way. This could be, so there's even a split system for air, or like you can control it, so it's not within the house, it's just your own air. And what is this? This could be your entire streaming setup. Oh, and what? there's so much potential for like mad shit. Bro. See, that, I, I feel that. I feel that. Like, this is a nice room. It's When people think about the potential, they're like, Oh, we have this this really bougie couch here. I was going to put this, uh, you know, plant over here. But then I decided to put the vase over here instead. It's like, I, I don't, I can't relate to those kinds of people. But I do relate to the people that are like, Yo, imagine the kind of things we could do here imagine the content imagine the adventures we could have the people we could bring here the the laughs we'd share the the food we try with each other the interesting people we'd have over here the plans we'd make the the memories the the like thinking back all the remember that time sessions where we think back to the things that happened in this room like that's what i'm thinking about it's it's nice it's nice and I really do have good things to say about like all the phase houses and things like that. Even though it is kind of cringe and it's really gone downhill from what phase used to be. They really fell off. It's just 
comparing it to all that old like sniper wolf shit that I just watched and the Ace Family shit, like this is it's a real nice breath of fresh air. I enjoy seeing creators like this much more than creators like that. Because like these people actually use their brain, you know, they use their mind. They, in a certain sense, deserve to be YouTubers because they're they're even if they make shit ton of money, they're thinking about like, man, how can I do more? This is my dream. How can I expand my dreams? They're not being a YouTuber because they see a lot of money in it, and that their goal is the money. Actually, a lot of them are. Phase Rug is. Phase Rug is one of those people that is. But a lot of these people still have some somewhat of a balance. They still have like twenty percent passion, eighty percent for the money. But with the Ace family and these people, it's just 100% for the money. This room with this balcony and this like giant that closet. Has to stay. It has to. That's wicked. Bro, that has to stay. That has to stay. That's wicked. Yeah, that's Whoa. Oh, it's a double access balcony? Oh. What? Nah, bro, let me move in this house, bro. I want this room. Bro, what? Hey, whoa, whoa, cut that, cut that, cut that. Cut that. Hey, yo. Oh, shit. Some of champagne. Nah, these guys know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're they're clearly being subsidized by FaZe and they're just taking FaZe money and just and they just keep it rolling in. They're just having fun with it. They're spending money that's not theirs and they're just having fun. I like these guys. Whoa. Wait, I didn't know these two were like I mean I guess they're both new, right? Well new, I mean to me they're new. But they're both involved in the scam and the crypto scam save the kids from like couple years ago i didn't know they were homies like this i didn't know uh fraser or it's phase k right his name is fraser k i think i think his his phase name is phase k but i didn't know there were homies like this come to our 2022 house tour why is this two million dollars this is just like a normal ass house wait this is a uk house oh dude the uk is trash why would you ever want a house in the uk amp house is actually not far from here it's literally like 15 minutes from where i live right now it wants this month period. i like what they did with this house it's real simple it's real functional it's that it just gets to the point and they're using the whole house to make content they're doing what it what it should be and actually amp is like they they feel i feel like they really paved the way is that a c stand like they're really out here doing this shit, man like they're they're not, they're not fucking around because AMP set up a nice little system where, okay, yeah, you're going to have people leaving, you're going to have new people coming in, you're going to have this and that, but they really set up a nice system to make sure, like, they can have a healthy content house relationship, you know? Even if you were to get a whole new cast, as long as you have a, a really charismatic cast and they are passionate about content, which is, it's tough and it's, it's really, really tough to find those people, but if you can, this is an empire that could last, like, 50 years. <laughs> I like what they do with the house. I really like it. I like how they're actually having fun with it. How they're using it to, to live life to the fullest. You know, this is what you should be doing if you get a house like this. Not like, you shouldn't be treating it like it's a fucking museum. Oh, don't touch anything. Don't, let's just have everything be an art piece. Nah, dude, have fun. Wait, never mind. I, uh, this is the new Amp Palace. I don't know where it is. I have no clue. This could still be in Atlanta. This could be in like Fayetteville or something like that. I don't know, nearby. Yachty has a house that looks similar to this and it's in Atlanta. Um, well, it's nearby, not like in Atlanta, Atlanta. But yeah, dude, this could be anywhere. I have no clue. I know the last one is 15 minutes from me. I don't know where this one is. The skyline in the back in this kind of neighborhood, this is enough to dox them. Like this is literally all the information that's needed to dox them. And okay, yeah, no, they definitely did not buy this house. This is, this is rented for sure. This is actually really weird. Because I don't know where this is. This could be like some fucking Australia or some shit like that. I don't know. But this is actually, it's not, you know, that much of a thing anymore. It's the, the legacy did not last the way AMP did. But these guys are just knockoff AMP guys. Like AMP is, is AMP. It's AMP, right? It's the, I think they just call it AMP. But this is called the powerhouse. It's called power, but it's spelled P-W-R. So it's literally just a knockoff of AMP. Lachlan's the type of guy to use a bottle opener on a twist. Oh. Alrighty, what's going on guys? It's yeah, okay, so it looks like they're still trying to go strong a year ago, right? I don't know what they've been on recently. Are they still getting views like that? Three days ago. Oh, they're just doing Fortnite stuff. Yeah, these are not, this is not, 
the kind of content that you make when you're really popping off. I want to make some joke. Like, this is what happens when white people try to make the amp house. Oh, like, but it's just, it's so fucking dry. There's nothing to make jokes about. Doesn't mean you can't experience it today because we did build it in Fortnite. Okay, this is not a house tour. Never mind. Nade Shot's got to have some stories to tell too. Now, I, I never felt like there was like a, a Nade Shot for FaZe. You know, because Optic, Nade, like there was always, there was that guy, you know? There was like, and I'd say Nade Shot is probably the most legendary guy from that era. Even though FaZe was better than Optic. But there was never a that guy for FaZe. Rain and Banks were kind of equals. Adapt is not really doing all that much, like... I don't know, maybe Temper. Maybe Temper was that guy, but like Temper is a shell of, of Nade Shot. Like this guy, this guy right here has stories to tell. I want to hear his stories. I don't think Valkyrie thinks a lot of the things through that she does, especially that fucking, the, uh, what's it called? UV blocking or blue light blocking, like lotion or whatever, skin cream or whatever. What a stupid, oh man, I'm never going to let that go, bro. I can never forget how stupid that is. That we know more about the universe than we do our own oceans. Holy <laughs> Not, not really. Not really. We know plenty about our oceans. These houses are kind of <laughs> dead, honestly. Like We're giving you a 2.2. <laughs> like, after watching the AMP... <laughs> look, 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 you didn't have no, to that's pull that. They definitely set that up for sure. After watching the AMP house tour, I'm like, every, all these other houses are boring, dude. YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. Hope you guys were all having a fan. Nate Shot fell off, dude. This dude really fell off. Like, he used to be a legend, dude. And now he's just like, he's just like a soy businessman. Fantastic day. You look in his videos and there's more product placements than you'd see in like, a, a you know, 80s Hollywood movie. I forgot who it was. Someone made a video reacting to their like cash app house, cash app compound or whatever. I think it was 100 Thieves. And it was just, it was just constant sponsors on sponsors on sponsors. Rocket House, Mortgage, lots of familiarity, Red Bull. A lot of words that I'm using, big words if you didn't notice. This is just one of the small changes. This is the tip of the iceberg. If you think this is cool, which I, I mean, look, there haven't been that many changes. This in is not cool. You're, I don't know why you're trying to hype up the fact that you're a corporate sellout now. Steve's Hall of Fame. Look guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. We've only been here for a year and a half, and I know to talk about a Hall of Fame might be silly, but when our players accomplish something meaningful, something- Uh, there's a better Hall of Fame to be had with Optic than, than 100 Thieves. My boy. What's up? Yeah, there you go. I like the Gucci wallet. Yeah, and Gucci shoes. Hell yeah, you look like money, and I love it. You look like money. Money? Yeah, you look like money, like good. You look, you look rich. Oh, wow. I'm not a rich student. You got a Porsche, a Rolex, Gucci shoes, Gucci wallet, and I know how much money you make. You're rich. Hey. That was the most pretentious 30 seconds I've ever watched in my life, dude. I don't even know what to say. Hey, bro, nice, nice Gucci wallet, nice Gucci shoes. Like, I thought that was already enough. Like, bro. I'm at a loss for words. I'm, you really fell off, Nate Chop, bro. You really fell off. Morning finish. Rocket Mortgage asked us, "What can we do to help?" We started. How forging. many times are you gonna say Rocket Mortgage in this video? Does he have Does he have a quota or something? Nate is literally turning into Michael Scott. That's so true. He's turning into season one Michael Scott, which is interesting because Michael Scott was meant to be the character who starts off as a bad character and has a redemption and slowly becomes good. And Nate Shot is going backwards. The dedication and hard work these guys have together truly inspires me. You mean Rocket Mortgage inspires you? 100 Thieves is literally one of my favorite. You mean Rocket Mortgage 100 Thieves with Rocket Mortgage, partnered with Rocket Mortgage is one of your favorite esports orgs ever. You got to get it right. So glad this Rocket Mortgage esports team powered by Rocket Mortgage exists. Me too, man. Can. This is the same. Rocket Mortgage, they crush it. Wow. I'm skipping the random parts because I just want to see the highlights or whatever. And every time I skip the part, it's just Rocket Mortgage, Rocket Mortgage. <laughs> Yo, this is the one. This is it. This is it. This is the Cash App Tour, I think. This is the most excited I have ever been in our company's history. Man, I have no words. This is kind of sad, actually. It's kind of sad to see what, what, what gaming's devolved to. They're like, man, I can't wait for the day. People back in the day used to be like, man, gaming is seen as like nerdy and you get bullied for gaming. 
But I'd rather have that and gaming be pure and the people that do it actually enjoy it than it becoming a cool thing and everyone just does it and it has so much money pumped into it that all these people that just want money that don't actually care about gaming come into the space and it ruins it. Like I wish people viewed gaming as cringe again. Because that because when gaming is viewed as cringe, you actually get good games. Donkey was the one that made the video. Oh my god, I totally forgot it was Donkey. This guy managed to make playing video games for money into a dystopic nightmare. Genuinely impressed. Oh my god, how the mighty have fallen. The mad lads did it. They built an entire house out of cringe. Truly an incredible feat. But it's really nice of them to give those prisoners computers in their cells. Like, the comments of this video are actually, like... People using their brain rather than the other ones, you know? Imagine calling yourself a gaming compound without a Mountain Dew swimming pool room or a Doritos sex chamber. That's true. That's true. That's a good idea. Can you really say you're a gaming compound without it? I don't think so. They really nailed the we want to suck the fun and excitement that games are supposed to have by making a soulless black cube that looks like a prefab office building with tiny cubicles for our slaves, I mean gamers, to train in. Aesthetic. Nice. When Nate Shaw walks out at the end, who would have thought a kid making COD videos on YouTube would be doing this at 27 years old? People who who really have shit going on and they do some iconic shit and then they just, then they, they get rich and it's like, you're rich now. Now you could do whatever you want. Now you could go even harder and be the GOAT and you could make content you're actually passionate about, but then you sell out even more. Like why? What's the reason? Cool. Foyer or foyer, however you want to say it. We have the lovely Jess here. Oh my God, did he just do that? I was making fun of the Ace family earlier. You know, people like the Ace family. For for literally, I literally said that joke. Wonderful foyer or foyer, however you want to say it. We have this guy is is a Karen trapped in the body of a man. What happened to you, bro? Right behind her, we have the hundred thieves D bar. Right, right now we have a, just a giant fucking white wall with a white thing with white, which is these straight edges. And we think we're so cool because we have fucking nothing anywhere. Just a ton of space. Like this is really expensive. This is like a $30 million place or whatever. I'd honestly rather the fucking powerhouse or whatever, like the PWR people that had that like 30 million, $35 million like Fortnite rendering. I'd rather they get this place and make their own rendering, like using this money, rather than 100 Thieves. Because this guy does not know how to fucking... He does not know how to how to create a, a proper legacy of himself. Like, he doesn't know how to make good content. Like, he knows how to make a lot of money. Sure. But when it comes to actually good content, like, this is... This is a hellish future that you're you're driving gaming into. You're leading the, the gaming industry and the esports industry into a place where you're... you're gonna suck the fun out of everything states yeah it's quite the upgrade hey hey oh. hey that actually scared the hell out of me it wouldn't be a tour without jack okay i i've never actually seen this guy's content and i have a feeling i know why just from this one little clip i think this guy's like cringe as fuck just from this clip this is this is courage right that's what his name is courage oh what a cringe name too People talk about him occasionally. He plays games with all these other guys, these these big shot people. This is Brooke AB. I've never seen her content either. I think these, whoa, wait, all these guys make normie content. Like if I, like if I move into a content house, it can't be a hundred thieves place because they're in the business of making normie content to satisfy corporations. They can't do anything with, that shows any real personality or character. But that's what I know how to do. Yeah, much, Matt. I like all the natural light. Oh, 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 oh. I, just, I went to go grab my phone and it. Bro, you didn't even hit yourself that hard. This dude, this guy's worse than Brett Rivera. Hold up. Look. I love you so damn much, Matt. You're my absolute fate. Oh. It slid across his stomach onto his right leg. What a drama queen, dude. This is Brett Rivera's part two. Oh, oh. <laughs> no fucking Rolex. The book of Rolex? Sneaker coat? Dude, what, what happened? Did somewhere along the lines you found like a bunch of like wannabe gangster people, wannabe like rich, like, oh yeah, we were wannabe rappers, we listen to Drake, we listen to like real music, and then you're like, man, those guys are so cool. And then you lost your previous friend group, and then so you... Or like, I can only get attention from these guys. 
And so you just take everything that they do and you're like, this is what's cool now. Oh, let me get the Rolexes and the Yeezys and the Gucci wallets and the – like, dude, is, is that is – that ha- like, what happened exactly? I'm so curious to know. Like, where did it go wrong? Because something clearly went wrong. He wasn't always like this. Something went wrong along the path. Next books. This is actually – from our Series A when uh, I signed the same piece of paper that Drake did, which is pretty lit. Uh, come on. You're a legend of the game, and you're like, I signed the same piece of paper that Drake did. Motherfucker, Drake's a normal-ass human being. Everyone puts all these people on such a pedestal. Is that what you want? Do you want people to put you on a pedestal? Is that why you're projecting like this? Like, you're creating these levels because you want people to put levels be- between you and the people beneath you? Because that's the attitude i see with a lot of people that say the same things as you drake is a normal fucking guy bro if i saw drake in public and he was walking this way and i was walking that way unless we had some business or something like that and i knew him and we were friends which is not the case i just walk right by him because he's another fucking guy oh my god my prized possession i have a piece of paper that has ink that that came from a pen that drake touched room at the content house then this is it this is your theater room this is shit bro there were a lot of a lot of years there where i was kind of lost didn't really know huh i wonder if that pussy's what changed him maybe this happens to a lot of people man everyone it's mike from team liquid and today we're going to check out the alienware training facility in eu this better be a fucking player this better be an esports player if this guy is some social media guy or whatever for for Team Liquid, he needs to be fired. He has the worst physiognomy, worst energy, worst everything for someone to be on camera like this. It makes sense if you're just trying to, you know, give some more screen time to your esports people. But if he's not, get him out of there, bro. Oh, oh, oh right. Okay, we're not that fancy. So the first... That was, uh, that was nice. I like that little dig at, uh, at that cash app house. The fuck's happening? <laughs> oh, why do you guys watch this guy? He's average. Look at how many TSM house tours there are. Welcome, Welcome to Offline TV, TV Season 2! Why well, are they trying to make us some like super emotional... What happened between Season 1 and Season 2? As far as I could tell, they were still making content for Season 2, and they're still making content after Season 2, right? Except this guy ain't there anymore. If I commit myself to one woman, then there's no sexual tension there, right? As- okay, I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. This guy, this guy's Toast, he is actually cool. He's the only cool person in the entire offline TV like, conglomerate or whatever. Which they had a lot of potential, man. They could have done a lot. They really could have been up there, but shame. They were run by Scara. He does not fucking run a content thing. Price of the house in the title. How much was this house? This is an $8 million house. Okay, but we're, we, we rent it. Right? Yeah, that doesn't matter. You think those house tour, they actually live there? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like this guy, bro. I like this guy. Offline TV, $8 million house tour, Beverly Hills. Do you think you get more views with offline TV or $8 million? I don't know, I'm not doing this for the views, though. I'm doing this because there is no house tour. You're not doing this for the views? Not really. You're just doing it for the... Vlog like, content, I think it's really nice. What's, oh, the you, point, what's the point of vlog content? How about this? You want the footage, too? Dude, <laughs> he's ready to have an argument with her. I'll fuck with this dude, bro. I, I like him. I like how he's just... He's just chilling. He's working off their dime. Making money. Doing what he wants to do. Making content. Having fun. Living life. And, uh... Like, not a care in the world. This is actually really weird how Michael Reeves just, like, came through. Like, he, he wasn't, he, like, he did not know offline TV at all. He came through, fuck with Lily Pichu, and then just moved in. You know what's really weird? At the same time that Michael Reeves was like, oh, I'm going to this place, offline TV house, look at, I'm chilling with Pokimane, I'm making videos of Pokimane, 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 and he was doing a lot of shit, right? At the same time, there was that dude, who like cheated on um on Lily. I forgot his name. It was Lily's boyfriend or whatever. And he cheated on her with like some girl that came through and like made content with them. But the other guy also like raped one of the people in off. I don't know. I'm not up to date on all the drama that happened. He like essayed or whatever. One of the people in offline TV. I don't think it was Pokemon, I think it was someone else. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this this clip right here of Pokemon making this thing on stream. So it was fed that I kicked out. All this happened all at the same time. And he came in and swooped in like the savior. And don't worry, guys. I'm I'm here to save the day. But really, um, this guy's a fucking loser. Michael Reeves is a fucking loser. Like, he, he's done a lot of cool shit. And he has a lot going for him. He has a lot going for him. But there are certain things that he does, certain things that he says, which I can go into on a different day, which are makes or breaks for a person's character. And he breaks. The Prime House, baby! Woo! The Prime House? How's it going? Hello, hi. We just moved. This is painful to watch, honestly. I think anything Stromedy does is painful to watch, actually. Like, the entirety of Stromedy's career discography. Today's upload is a special one. It's my official... Okay, I don't usually watch Nick Merckx. And I'm starting to realize why he's never come across my feed or anything like that. Because YouTube knows the audience that likes him... He's not the kind of audience that's going to like my kind of content. I don't like the people that, that they're like this off camera. They're like, um, and then when they're on camera, what's up YouTube? My name is Nick Merckx. Today we're going to be doing my house tour. House tour. Now before we get into all this. Mud rooms where we uh, sit mud. Uh, take off our shoes. And we are. <laughs> Let's go on a house tour. Bedroom number three is the beautiful couple's bedroom. Bedroom number three, F R E E. Bedroom number three. I, I'm not watching this shit, bro. Man, I respect this guy, S Fan. I like he's probably the only guy I actually have respect for out of the entirety of uh, what's it called? OTK. God damn, bro, fix your fucking camera exposure. We are gonna give you a tour. Yeah! <laughs> wait, wait, redo that. We missed. Wait, this was never going to work out. Looking back at it, this was never going to work out. You guys should add Sweet Anita there too. Look, you need, you can't just throw content creators in a house and call it a content house. You really want it to be sustainable. You need a balance of characters. You need people who are all on the same page, who can all keep each other in check. You need, you need order versus chaos. Anita would, would mellow things out. She would bring more order to the crew. That is a good idea. Now it is possible to have a really imbalanced like AMP type house, right? But everyone has to be on the same page. Everyone has to be, that only works with very specific combinations, such as extremely ambitious, high energy men who, who all have the same goal in mind and all want to look out for each other and all, all of each other's best interest at heart. That's hardly a content house. That's a house of friends who would live together anyways, regardless, who just so happen to be making content together. That's really what it is. And guess what? Even then, that kind of thing is still not sustainable. There is still, I guarantee you, behind the scenes, even though they'll never talk about it, behind the scenes, there is lots and lots of turmoil, lots and lots of animosity, lots of, you didn't do this, you said you were going to do this, things like that that happen because they live together. And I guarantee you, like if, if anyone at AMP ever sees this, They'll go like, yeah, that's true. That did happen. We learned to settle our differences, but we do have lots of of these differences that come up. Like if you want to stay, if you want to be good friends with someone, forget best friends. If you want to be good friends with someone and you want to stay good friends, you don't want the friendship to be tarnished at all or risk being ruined. Don't live with them. A year? What happened since then? I mean, I know what happened with Minx, but like they still got three people in there and you could add more people. All female, all female. This is what happens when you do all, you don't have to do all female. You can add more people in there. Oh my God, wow, look at their views. This was, this did not work out. Please don't delete these videos. It's important, it's a good case study for sure on like what not to do for a content house. Don't delete these videos. Whoa, 578 videos. This has only been a thing for like a year, right? Who's running this really? Was this originally some esports team that couldn't pay to to play that season? And then they're like, fuck it, bro. Let's just throw a Hail Mary. What happened exactly? Hey, I didn't expect you there. Come on in. That's not going to age well at all. Why would you commission a painting like this? Why would you even take a Bernie? Why would you ever take a painting like this? Room. Oh, hi there. Um, Unfortunately, I cannot show you Nick's room because... Why is her audio only on the left side? Do you guys hear that? He has top secret information in there that is top secret. This was a two million dollar apartment? Okay, I know apartments are really expensive nowadays. They're really expensive. But it looks like you could buy this thing for like 600k. I'm really happy every time I'm in here because it's all about content. It's all about content creation. It's all about me, me, 
me. It's all about me. You know that song by Pearl? Wait, one sec. Yo! There we go! Dude, all the Fortnite stuff that people do. Like, you know it's not gonna age well. I don't know why you're doing it. This is fucking huge. Like, this does not look like a residential area. This looks like some commercial... Uh, this is weird, actually, when, it, when I look at it. Through life, you'd end up... Okay, knowing Nelk, I'm expecting this house to be fucking sick. It's in 2000. That's really small for $9 million. In 2005, this is not worth it, dude. Me meeting. Then down the hall, yeah, a little... honestly, this house kind of sucks. I'm disappointed in you, Nelk. Okay, this is interesting. She got some videographer on her team, some dude who watches Gibson Hazard ed edits on like Instagram and was like, ooh, don't worry, I can edit your videos for you. She found someone like that. If you don't know, the girl who started this clubhouse or whatever, clubhouse. this girl, she left Hype House to start this house. On one level, I get it. On another level, it's like, dude, have you not looked at yourself in the mirror? You realize the reason why Hype House doesn't work is because of people like you, right? You think trying a second time is going to work? No, you have to be someone else entirely for it to work. You have to be this. You have to look like this. If you want to make a content house that will actually work, you have to be like this. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? I can't look I can't watch this dude crazy house for sure but I the way that you talk I, I can't stand it that took notice of what we were doing the honey house is an adult TikTok house this bro is an adult TikTok house house for adults this place called honey house if you need to mark yourself as like oh we're this thing but for this you know that you're you're never going to you're always gonna be second place oh I'm the I'm the I'm the LeBron James of, of cooking, right? Nah, be like LeBron James is the Afraz of basketball. If you don't put yourself first, if you don't go like, it's kind of weird that on the social media platform that's, that is really, it shouldn't be used by people unless you've, you know, properly been socialized and you understand the consequences of this kind of thing, which adults do which they should be the primary users of this kind of social media, you would set yourself as the status quo and go like, it's kind of weird that kids are the most popular people on it. I don't know why you don't set that as a standard. I don't know why you don't, don't just go like, hey, we're just TikTokers. Like, that's fucking weird. You're, you're, you're putting yourself in a box and you're leading with the idea that like, oh, we're not supposed to be here, but we're trying to be here. No, you got to come in like, we belong here. We belong on TikTok. Like that kind of thing. You got to go in with that attitude. Which is a stupid attitude to have anyways because TikTok is a pathetic platform. I don't know why anyone would want to be on here and I already predicted this did not work out as I predicted the last video two years ago. What did I tell you? Because we're not a content house and you're watching- Is that Pammy? Man, Aiden Ross, you really dodged a bullet, honestly. Like, why would anyone want to live with these people? Where's the adventure? You know? Where's the journey? Where's the- the journey to become Pirate King. This is like people trying to fit in. They have no direction in life and they think that this will make them happy. They do this for a little while and they're like, man, what the hell was I doing? Look at these people. I feel like Maddie's such a vibe to be around. Best content house, no one can tell me different. Everyone in this whole, like, all these females in this industry just gas each other up for no reason. Wow, that's crazy. I'm not trying to sound cringe, but I'm kind of making history. You might think these- That's cringe that you'd say that, that's cringe. You don't say you're making history, you just make history. Like Jake Paul's Team 10 house and Lil Huddy and Charlie D'Amelio's hype house. But the Wave House has a distinctly British feel. Set in a £5 million historic 13 acres. Distinctly British feel? I don't I don't want to be a part of it then. I've heard of Loser Fruit from some drama that happened in the past. I have not heard of any of these other people. Marcus, just Marcus, that's what you're going to go by? Most of us are incredibly lazy. This was so weird because actually... They had a 24 hours, 24 seven stream running. This was before this was a yacht. This was just the squad house. Oh, shorts, they got shorts on here. They, what they had is they had a house in LA. I don't know who was paying for it, but Ayaku went there, visited. This is actually a video on their channel. This is one of their videos and it's private. Uh, if you could reach out to them and be like, yo, uh, what's this video? Uh, you'll, you'll find it. It's, some, it's like, I think it's their introduction, but it's a trash introduction. It's like, how do you do this? How do you have all this money to set up to pay for this house, to pay for the rent? 
and you don't get a half decent videographer, they'll work for free just to be a part of it. What's up, bitches? It's your boy Swagger here. We got iNut. And then they got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this formula introducing you guys the one percent one percent oh they don't mean it like that they mean like one percent best people at fortnite they mean like fort they they're talking about esports i was about to say like damn you're setting yourself up to be canceled that's what you're calling your house this is clearly also not like you would name the house after a person or after some like thing you have going some some content related thing or, or like your team name or whatever the only time you'd ever name it 1% is if some company's behind it and they want a platform agnostic name that can cycle through people so that way, even if there's a whole new roster, it still works. And it makes sense because people don't buy these kinds of houses for content house, they rent them. Just to let you guys know real quick, we actually purchased this multi-million dollar property. There's no way, I don't believe him. Videos and supporting us through the years, we were able to buy this house with our own cash, no investors, completely self-funded. Everything you see here, we paid for ourselves, which is super awesome. And we also got another surprise for you guys. I don't know if you guys. I don't think they're charismatic enough to make YouTube videos that earn that much money. Hey guys, welcome to the White House. Come on in. I can already tell these people have no synergy together. If you need to do that, if you need to script all that stuff. Like, you should just keep it natural. Look, look at the two people that are actually doing that. It's the dudes. These are not, these are, these are girls in the bodies of dudes. That's what this is. So you have a completely imbalanced setup here. You have three of these females, you have five females in this room. There's no balance. It could be one of those rare cases, like AMP, where they, they all have the same goal and they're all, they all have an understanding with each other and they're, very communicative and they're all real they're not npcs but you don't end up like this unless you're an npc and also npcs tend to dye their hair so yeah as you could see um it didn't work out big surprise i know i we had those same chairs they these are the cheapest chairs ever they break so easily multiple of them have broken just under our own weight i'm not even a heavy dude either they lied about this and this is not three million dollars or they really overpaid. Because you know who else bought a $3 million house? Look, Iman Gaddy or whatever bought a $3 million, uh, less than $3 million, $2.8 million house. Look at it. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a real nice, that's like a, that's like a, a Bali getaway estate. Look at that. That's cheaper than the house that they were in. Converted into a really wait. This is this gym is sick. There's the medicine balls and everything. Nice gym. Zila lat pull downs. There's two. It looks like there's two lat pull downs. Uh, okay, this place actually does look kind of fun. This place does look pretty fun. Yeah, it's school, but instead of water, check this out. <laughs> wait, it's root punch. It's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I know a lot of people are gonna think that's stupid, but I like that. The noblest art is that of making others happy. Pretty noble. Especially when you the cover up their Subscribe rapes, the channel, you know. Make us happy. <laughs> and and make them happy. make you guys happy by doing this tour. Bro, all these guys have the same sense of humor. Like, they all just make gay jokes and, like, try to play... Like, they're not subtle about it at all. I totally forgot. Jojo Siwa generated, like, a billion dollars or something like that. Net worth, 20 million. Cool. Age, 20. That's reasonable. I remember when she was, like, 16 and she was popping off. It would be funny if she was like, like they took a picture of Jojo Siwa next to like Lil Uzi and put the next to like just, just to see the comparison of height. That would be funny. And we're going to be working. Okay, so, so these guys, if you don't know, Stokes twins are, they're part of that whole Brett Rivera, Lexi Rivera wave, you know? Dude, this house sucks. This house has nothing in it, bro. It's, it's, it's bland as hell. It's like, it's not even that like you have nothing in it. The house itself is just bland. The best streamer house in Latvia. Uh, this might be the only streamer house in Latvia, to be honest with you. Okay, wait, that actually looks kind of cool. This actually looks kind of cool. Wait. And also, I would like to mention that all the designs in this house are made by me and my production team in Cinema 4D. So pretty much everything what you're gonna be seeing right now, it is just our ideas. 
Wait, wait, so this is not... This is not a real house? She's just in some rendering? This looks like a real house to me. So let's begin our tour. Or is she saying that she designed it in Cinema 4D and then they built it? Z. Okay, wait, this is actually a really well-designed house. On the left-hand side, there's my favorite place of the house, kitchen. Maybe someone of you has- oh, <laughs> She's setting herself up, bro. It's my favorite place of the house, the kitchen. These views are not good enough to justify that whole streamer house. Does she have some good sponsors or something? Alpha House, Bite Squad, Clubhouse, 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 Collab Crib, Dance Dome, Drip Crib, Fenty Beauty House, French House, Girls in the Valley, Halo House. I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with Halo. Pride House, I'd skip that one. Valid Crib, Valid Crib and Collab Crib are the same thing. Just different times. Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Sigma, Sigma Male, Grind Set House is still active or not. Who knows? Let me show you something. I got my webcam, right? I'm gonna block out the number. And to show you that this is like legit, look, there's my messages, right? This is my messages. This is the messages app. I go in here, look, messages. I click on this. I'm gonna block out the number on top so you can't see the number because I don't have the contact saved. But he goes, he goes, hey, are you up in ATL? Are you still up in ATL? And I go, yeah. And he goes, this was, look at the, look at the time. Yesterday, look when it was sent. Yesterday at 5, 531. You see that? He goes, are you up in ATL? And I say, yeah, who is this again? And he goes, bruh, Andrew Carvelis. Mofo deleted my number, crying laughing emoji. The one with the tears streaming down. And I say, I, I delete numbers if I don't talk to that person regularly. I said, I delete numbers if I don't talk to people regularly. He says, reasonable. Late breakfast or lunch tomorrow, I'm in the area tonight, tomorrow. It's weird for him to, by the way, you don't understand the context. It's really weird for him to reach out like this. Like, we don't talk anymore. Um, friendship's been ruined, basically. And so reaching out, like, out of the blue like this is crazy. But he's a fearless ass dude. And that's what, that's like the good quality that he has. Like, the one thing that could really take him to the top. I'm in the area tonight, tomorrow. I wanted to ask you something. I mean, I can text if need be, but I figured I'd ask lunch. I may not be free tomorrow. He says, I, and he says, so I have a cameraman down in Savannah. Pay him 150 every time we film. He does great work in my opinion, IMO. It's just not substantial paying $150 every time we film. Like, I don't want to think about having to afford it I just want to make content. You were single-handedly the most driven person I knew when it comes to content creation. I can motivate myself perfectly fine at this point, but I'd love a word, I think he meant world, I'd love a world where it's two motivated people feeding off of each other's motivation. So I'll keep it straightforward. I'm offering you to move down to Savannah and you can take my second bedroom slash rent grocery I mean, rent slash grocery free, just film videos one to two times a week for me. I pay the rent myself, so there's no real commitment if you change your mind randomly. I could have said yes, and by the way, I could have asked him for money too, and he probably would say yes. I probably would have been like, give me the room, I want to live there for free, and also give me $1,000 a month just on top of that. And I could have been doing my own thing the rest of the time and then working for him two times a week. And it's a great offer, and I could have taken it, but I'm, I said no. So I'm like, he, he always says, I would like to mention I'm willing to overlook any past bad history. Let me bring it closer so you guys can see absolutely clearly. Let me cover it up like this, actually. Let me cover up the phone number like that. Let me cover up the phone number like that. So this is, I would like to mention I'm willing to overlook any past bad history we had. I don't want to, he said, I don't care anymore. I just want to get shit done crazy of me to ask slash offer this but it's a crazy question and i feel like i need to ask i i can't understand i'm like not even reading it right because it's like i'm trying to read it like kind of backwards like this but like i said i have a cameraman so i'm not desperate not why i'm asking i just know how you are and that shit is so unique and valuable to have in a content team. 
this is real. This is legit. I just clicked on the, it's a 912 number. So you can see, look, look, look. Here's the thing, right? I'm going to click on it. I'm going to cover that part. And you can see it's a, it's a 912. See that? So it's not any number I own. It literally is in a different time, time, like, not in a different time zone. It's a different area. Like, I don't have any, I don't know anybody in that area. I don't, there's no way I could have a phone in that area. So it's not like I'm sending this to myself. It literally is this guy, Drew, Andrew Carvelis, or Drews online. If you want to look him up, you can find me in his videos too. Literally, the things that he says about me. So I responded, literally, okay, so I responded. I'm like, I'm like, I'm actually getting my own apartment up here for the next six months. I got a lot of time and effort invested here. I can't go back to Savannah. There's other people out there like me. You just got to find them. It's all good. Doesn't hurt to ask. Your biggest strength of this whole thing is your fearlessness. That shit was crazy. Don't skip out on that and keep looking. Approach everyone and stuff like how you did in Savannah. You'll find a team. And he says, fair. And that's how the conversation ends. But notice what he said about me. He said, what you had was so unique. I, I, I tell people, like, I, I have this attitude, right? And I'm not letting this go. I refuse to let this go unless something changes, unless someone can prove me otherwise. I had this attitude of like, we have to be a team. We have to work together, you know? Like, we were, me and Andrew were actually in Savannah. We were meeting with this guy, Brandon, and he was a photographer. And... We were like telling him like, hey, bro, join the team, join us, like come make content with us, come through, you know, whenever you get the, whenever you get free time, be at our place and take pictures for us, right? Be in content, we'll record you, you take pictures for us, because it'd be great to have an extra hand on set and also a photographer, because I don't do photos. I can't do that. I mean, I can, but not at the same time as videos and be optimal about it. And to have an, another person who's just focusing on photos and can get photos of me too, because I want to be in them too. I want to show people like, hey, I'm a part of history here. Like, I'm a part of this, you know? I want to capture these moments and I want to be in them. So it's like to have that, that's really, really valuable. And he goes like, nah, I can't, I can't do that. I need to get paid. And getting paid is one thing, but it's like, if you really want to be a legend, it doesn't work, dude. Like, like the Smosh, Smosh, Anthony and Ian, when they were coming up, they were not paying each other. They're not like, hey, can you be in this Smosh video? No, they were just helping each other as much as they could. When FaZe was making content in the beginning, you think Banks was like, oh, Rain, you need to pay this much to do this. Oh, actually, I'm going to pay you to... You think that... No, they were just making content together. What you do is this. Every single moment you have in the day that you're not doing something. I w wake up, I edit a video, I do this, I, whatever. I have like an hour of free time right here. I have nothing going on. I have nothing, literally nothing. I go around to everyone who's in the content house and I go, man, dude, is there anything I can help you with? Labor. You need me to edit a video for you. You need me to film something. You need me to go drive somewhere and get something for you. You need me to go talk to someone, talk to some sponsor, write up some email, write up some some you know, create some EPK for you, create a resume for you so that you can get the most money from these people to negotiate with them, do your taxes, like literally anything. You need me to, to build some furniture, assemble some furniture for you. Any place, any time that I see that I can help, I go in and help. I do it for the team. And I don't ask for anything in return. I don't ask for money. But what I expect in return is that you will do the same for me. You will see any opportunity you can that you are able to help me, you do it. And if we both do that, and we get like five people that all do that shit, there's nothing that can stop us. There are zero things on this planet that can stop us from coming up and becoming massive successes. Zero things. Not not the fucking world ending can stop us. And and we can afford to pay Brandon, right? At the time, we were like, okay, cool, we can, we can pay you. We were considering it. But here's the thing. The value that you will bring as a photographer, if we were paying you, would be 1% of the value you would bring as a photographer if the sole reason why you were doing it was to help the team, because there was no money incentive. 
like the data backs us up too. You look at the like the studies that show like you get a bunch of kids who like to draw, right? You take all those kids, you let them draw, they they get that dopamine rush, they like it, they want to draw more, they want to keep drawing day after day after day. And then you take half those kids and you put them in a separate room and you give them a reward after they draw. Candy, trophy, money, whatever it might be. And then you you do that every time they draw something. A week later you check on on the kids and you tell the kids you get to draw but you won't get any rewards. They don't like to draw anymore. They stop liking drawing. Or you take away the rewards and you say, you just get to draw by itself. They learn to hate drawing. They stop enjoying the, the process as it is. But those kids that never got that reward in the first place still love drawing. I'm not saying you don't have to earn money from it. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, there is an optimal strategy to earn even more money. Because the person that loves walking will walk further than the person that wants to get to the destination. If you really want to earn the most, you really want to go the furthest, Learn to love walking. Learn to capture that every moment that you get and surround yourself with those same people. Because we went to Brandon. The moment he asked for money, I'm like, we're not involving this guy. We're not involving him. He's a waste of time for the team. Because it, because he also said this. He said, I'm down to work for like the whole, you know, being a part of the team and the exposure and to be a part of something bigger. But it's like, you guys have to like, you know, maybe when you guys are like, if you have like 100,000 subscribers, then yeah, sure then it's like worth it. But it's like, think about it like this for a second. If we do that, we could do it. Let's say it takes us five years to come up. And then after that five year mark, we get him on board. And he, and this is a great deal for both of us. We get a free photographer now because he wants to be a part of it. If he had joined earlier, if he had been with us this whole time, we would have done it in three years. What would what would he be doing in those five years, by the way? Nothing, nothing. We check in on him five years later and he'd still be in the same exact position. And someone else come up to him and offer him the same thing and be like, no, I need to get paid. When will you learn? Because I tell people this over and over and over again. They go, no, dude, you have to charge people. No, dude, you have to earn money from this. No, dude, you can't. This is not how a team works. You can't do this. You have to do all this money transactions. And, oh, well, let's split the bill. Let's split the rent. Let's split this. Let's split let's split the fucking McDonald's food that we get. Make sure everyone gets cash out each other and all this shit. No, dude. Just make it convenient for everyone. Just get to it. Just do the quickest possible solution. Whoever's the closest person to the waiter, they pay. Whoever is closest to the gas thing, they open the door, they fill it up, they pay. Whoever, like, just be quick. Handle it. Whoever has the most money, whoever has the most money to blow, they pay for the apartment, they pay for the house, they pay for whatever, right? Whoever has the most time on their hands, they run the errands, they do the dishes, they handle getting the Postmates for, and the Uber Eats for everyone. And, and out of spite, out of spite, even though, like, I'm, even though it's a good deal for us after that five year mark, you know, to get a free photographer on board. I tell him, like, no, we're not adding you ever anymore. You've lost your chance. Just out of spite, because it's like, you're not, you're not even being selfish here. If you were being selfish, you would join us. Because if you're being, if you think you're being selfish by asking for money right now, you'll be successful in five years if you get to join us. But if you join us now and you be a part of our team and you help us, you will contribute to the team and we will be successful in three years, which means you will be successful too. And if you really are with the shit, like how I am, like how I'm confident in my abilities to tell stories with video, to tell stories through film and through YouTube videos and to direct people. If you're confident in your abilities, the way that I am in my creative direction, then you would not need to even do, which is, which is, it's one thing to, to have a managerial role and go like, you have potential and I, me contributing a little bit to you, being a compliment to you, would be so helpful to you that even 20% of the money you earn would make me rich. That's how rich I can make you just by me being a part of your team. You don't have to pay me anything. You give me 20% of the money that you earn contingent that I help you earn money. If we're all like that to each other, we're all managers to each other. That's one thing. But it's another thing entirely to go, forget the 20%. If one of us comes up, we all come up. And I'm proving that by giving everything I have for the team, by putting it all in the team. I tell people this, and they tell me this is a bad strategy. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Their thing doesn't work out. It doesn't work out, my thing doesn't work out because they don't think it's gonna work out. 
Five years later, they hit me back up and they go, man, you were right, bro. You were right this whole time. I know. I have the most experience in this. I've done it before. Why don't these people listen to me? So this is what I'm doing now, okay? Forget all the, like, bring your own, like, resources, bring your own money, bring your own way to handle yourself, carry your own weight, and also help to carry the weight of the crew on top of, on top of just your own responsibilities and create a whirlpool of content, a funnel of content, dragging everything else in the entire internet into us, into our team, right? Help everyone else come up, not just yourself. And if you want to be a part of this team, if you have something to offer and you really want to come up and you don't want to wait five years and go like, man, I should have taken that offer. And you, you don't want to have those regrets. You want to be a part of the team. You can hit me up. You can join me. You can join my team. Okay? You can join my pirate crew. I'm the captain of the ship. And I'm going to be the pirate king one day. And if you... I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm actively looking. I'm looking for a musician. Along the way, I might find a swordsman. But I'm still looking for a musician. And then we might also find a navigator too. But I'm also looking for a musician. and But then, you know, we might find a uh, uh, a sniper and a comic relief um, and an inventor. But I'm also still looking for a musician. And, but we also might find a, a, a chef, you know, along the way. We got to have a chef. But then in, in the process, I'll still be looking for a musician. Um, but we, we'd probably bring a doctor onto the team as well. But I'm still looking for me, and I, this whole time, I'm just going to be looking to add people to the pirate crew. If you want to be a part of the crew, part of the ship, part of the crew, right? You want to be a part of the, there's no one who's in the crew yet. Zob and FaZe are best friends, my best friends for life with Squeeze Squad. But Squeeze Squad is not the same thing as the Musty Core Pirates, okay? They have their own pirate ships, they have their own paths in life, and we will sail together. But... This pirate crew, which is something that is temporary, which is something that when I become the pirate king, we go our separate ways. The Zoro of the crew will go start his own dojo and go teach the other kids how to be swordsmen and handle that whole thing. And, you know, Nami will continue to travel the world and, and Usopp will go telling stories to people and living out those stories and start his own pirate crew too and do his own thing. And Sanji will build the greatest restaurant to ever exist and... You know, we'll, we'll all, we'll all like, um, like the, the Robin will create time capsules and the Chopper will, 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 uh, not the, the Robin, Chopper will, will build a hospital and all stuff. Like, we all have our own ambitions, right? And we'll all go our separate days one day. But if you want to be a part of this journey, you want to, you want to, uh, you know, team up with me as pirates, go around, travel. Meet interesting people, do interesting things, see interesting places, eat interesting foods, like live an interesting life. You want this. If you want it, you can join me. There's going to be no money exchange, none of that, no, no formality, no. You help out where you can, I help out where I can, and we bring each other up. And if one of us comes up, then we all come up. And if this is something that you're, this is something that you're interested in, and it's something that you want to be a part of, and you have something to offer, then hit me up. You could message me on Discord or DM me on Instagram. Links in the description. Okay, bye guys.